She's the Hollywood star who's synonymous with the little black dress. How do I look? And a humanitarian who stood the test of time. I've been so privileged to do something for children. Meet Audrey Hepburn. Audrey was born in Belgium in 1929. Passionate about ballet, her training came to a halt because of World War II. By 1939, Audrey was living in the Netherlands, which would soon be occupied by Germany. As a result of the Dutch hunger winter, Audrey suffered from severe malnutrition and anemia. I was one of the tens of thousands of children in war-ravaged Europe to receive aid from UNICEF immediately after our liberation. After the war, Audrey moved to London to continue her ballet training, but was told she was too tall. In those days, most dancers were tiny. Mm -hmm. And I, at the age of 14, was as tall as I am today. I towered over the young men that were supposed to dance with me. Her big break? When Hollywood director William Wyler came to England, looking for an unknown actress to play a princess opposite Gregory Peck in a film called Roman Holiday. I'd like to do just whatever I like. The whole day long. She went on to win an Oscar for her performance. I'm truly, truly grateful and terribly happy. When she starred in Sabrina, thanks to French designer Givenchy, she quickly became a fashion icon as well. At the time, Marilyn Monroe and Elizabeth Taylor were considered the pinnacle of beauty. Audrey's gamine looks put her in a class of her own. She went on to star in classics like The Nun Story, Funny Face, and My Fair Lady, beating out Julie Andrews, who starred as Eliza Doolittle on Broadway. But she's perhaps best known for her role as Holly Golightly in Breakfast at Tiffany's. I love you. You belong to me. No. People don't belong to people. Of course they do. I'm not going to let anyone put me in a cage. In 1968, Audrey took an eight-year hiatus from acting to raise her sons. The one thing I dreamed of in my life was have children of my own. It always boils down to the same thing of not only receiving love, but wanting desperately to give it. Later, she became a goodwill ambassador for UNICEF, the very organization that came to her aid after the war. Audrey died of cancer in 1993, just before she became one of only 16 artists to achieve EGOT status. Her elegance is timeless. Well, hello, how are you? her compassion unparalleled. For children, I, I, I go to the moon. And thanks to the magic of movies, her charm will continue to captivate generations to come. I was born with something that appealed to an audience at that particular time. It never ceases to puzzle and yet also to, to dazzle me in a way that mm -hmm. everything has happened to me.